What's going on, everybody? So I thought I would I should make a quick video um, describing the usefulness of USB Type C in the Lightning port. So as you see here, I have the Dell XPS 13, the new edition, the smaller one with Infinity Screen, touchscreen, and all that jazz and whatnot. So um, this is the i5 edition, 256 gigabytes hard drive and 8 gigs of RAM. But the unique thing about this is I uh, intentionally bought the first one when it first came out and it had a display port adapter or something like that. I forgot. But now it has this USB type C lightning port. Let's get that to focus. There you go. So you have that USB type C lightning port. So some people may say, you know, it's not useful. So one company that's already putting that to use is, of course, Dell and HP and Mac. But if you go ahead and you can go to the any Best Buy and buy pretty much a device that looks exactly like this. It's a USB Type C to USB power, USB Type C power, HDMI out, and USB in. This is not to charge. This is only for USB 3.0 in. You can plug a hard drive up to it. You can plug a controller, whatever, up to it. So um, intentionally, the first way I was doing it was I would plug this, the regular AC cord, up as the power so you will see once I plug it in the light will come on in the front right here so plug it in oh I'm pushing in more there we go plug it in and that's the power light so that's how you know it's charging everything and I'm using battery mod to monitor everything and the voltage it's getting right now the charge rate is 20,800 milliwatts so that's good going from the charger the regular charger that comes with so in, at first I bought a USB type C charger that goes in the wall to try to charge this didn't work um, I bought the Mac one. I bought the Mac the 29 watt one and then I bought the USB type C cable for, that plugs into the charger then goes into the laptop it didn't work it only works for the new MacBook and phones because the new MacBook is essentially that really thin one with the butterfly keys that one is essentially just a cell phone processor and whatnot so it didn't have enough power to keep it going on this type of computer with an i3, i5, i7 processor. So um, at first I bought the Mac version of this thing. It cost $79. It was exactly the same. Had the USB type C plug and then it had the charger, HDMI, and USB. But it cost $79. So instead I went on eBay, I oh, don't know, eBay on Amazon, and I bought this one right here, this Chotec. It cost $40. No, I think it cost $30. 29 or 30 of 39 one of those and it's exactly the same and the cable is a little bit longer so you can actually bend it the other one was it stopped about right here this cable length is twice as long so this worked good and so at the same time I was like, okay you know what I want to be able to plug this into the computer I want to show the video plug up the mouse and keyboard and charge the um, computer at the same time so I went ahead and on Amazon they have this one right here this energy I'm trying to get it to see I just get the box this energy charger it only costs forty dollars and I'm telling you that's a good fucking price I'm trying to get the it's raining so hard outside USB type C 45 that means it's 45 watt yeah you can see and this works perfectly for la um, laptops you can see it work with the US the, the MacBook but it also works with newer laptops like this so to prove it I'm going to show you this is the energy thing and this is the USB type C thing so you remember the light comes on when you charge it so I'm gonna plug it up and this is why USB type C lightning or lightning 3 is so cool plug it in bam start charging there you go and it's charging at the same rate 20,800 so it charges at the same rate as the regular wall charger <laughs> so that's pretty fucking amazing but at the same time you do have to have this energy thing plugged into a wall but this is where it gets really cool you plug that thing so at first I was hooking up the HDMI and the mouse and keyboard to this through the USB-C and then I'll plug it up with the regular charger but now I'm gonna do this I'm gonna go ahead and say okay I'm gonna plug this into the charger the charger into this. I'm gonna plug my HDMI for my monitor into this. That's for this monitor. And I'm gonna plug up the mouse and keyboard, which is this keyboard right here and this mouse 
all into this same little thing. And it's going to charge, it's going to charge it, it's going to um, display the video, and it's going to let me use the mouse and keyboard. So, and you can turn it either way, that's what's so cool to me. But just plug it in. And let's see. Keyboard's on, mouse is on, and the display's on. Yep, so it works. So I'm going to go ahead and see what resolution I can set this at. Close that. See what resolution I can get this to be at. Graphics properties. No, not graphics resolution. Display settings. There we go. We're going to extend these displays apart. So, yeah, so just to let you guys know, this is a, I'm running it on the 34-inch LG curved monitor <laughs> and this one at the same time. So, just kind of prove it. I'm going to grab something and carry it over to let you guys see. Ugh. Jesus Christ. But, yeah, you can see I haven't adjusted the monitors yet. But, yeah, so it essentially works. So... What I'm doing right now is I'm charging, I'm using this USB Type-C dongle to charge the laptop, display video, and the mouse and keyboard. Then when I'm ready to go, boom, just unplug it. Simple. It's no longer charging, of course. It's no longer charging. But that is why USB Type-C is so good. USB Type-C, Lightning, whatever they want to call it, Lightning 3, whatever they want to call it, that's why it's so good. You just plug it in. And I'm using USB 3.0, HDMI, and I'm charging the thing. I don't have to have all these things. I would essentially at first have to do it like this. Plug this USB into here. Okay, let's get this, the keyboard and mouse and the USB. Let's get the power into that one. And let's get to HDMI. I would have to get adapter or plug. Just I don't have to do that anymore. I can just plug everything into this one little thing. Everything into this one little thing. And plug it straight up. So this was, I said again, like thirty dollars on Amazon. Show Tech. I like it because it's nice and long. I plan on just making it so that whenever we come home, we just boop, plug it in. Desktop, everything work. I mean, the screen, keyboard, everything works right when you plug it up. It charges it. Simple. I keep my other. I keep this one in the bag when I go places. But for the most part, this would just be sitting somewhere. I want to get home. Boop, plug it in. Complete. So just wanted to give everybody an overview of that. Probably thinking that USB Type C isn't worth anything, but in actuality, it is. So this chart, this thing again was forty dollars, and this thing on Amazon was forty dollars for eighty dollars, and it came with everything you needed. It came with a little cord to go in there. And I mean, this is good quality. I wasn't expecting such good quality from this energy thing. They said they give you a three thousand dollar warranty, but yeah, but for the most part, this shit is good. Forty dollars for this. I should have dropped it. <laughs> forty dollars for this. Eighty dollars, and if you already got an HDMI cable, and, and, I, and I'm telling you, it, it just turned on the keyboard and the mouse. I have these connected to a hub, so it's turned on the keyboard, the mouse, and the hard drive, the external hard drive. So, yeah, think about that. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hope I helped someone if I did.